Today is the day. For those who don't know, the last seven days, I have been uploading a vlog daily. This is something that I challenged myself last Tuesday to actually complete and see how hard, maybe easy, it could be to upload daily, especially vlogging. Vlogging, I can tell you guys, is very hard to do, but we made it. Today is the final day of uploading daily vlogs. I'm here to tell you guys exactly what I learned throughout my process of going through seven days of making a video, editing a video, uploading a video of my life. For those who don't know, I was so inspired by a friend of mine called It's Bade. You guys can go to the top link in the description for his channel. He uploads gaming content on a daily. Daily is key because I felt so inspired and I see his notification every night and I felt so inspired to actually upload daily because I've seen his growth and I knew that if I could do this and get the breakthrough that I needed, this might be just what I need. But I'm here to tell you guys everything that I learned throughout the editing process, coming up with ideas and actually recording the video, all the people that I met, as well as some behind the scenes footage that you guys actually haven't seen because I didn't put them in the vlog because, well, let's just say it, you guys will see it and you'll know why. But I'm also gonna be answering some questions such as the funnest vlog to record, the hardest vlog to record, all of that jazz, as well as how long did it take me to actually record videos, edit them. But before we get into today's video, I just wanna thank you guys so much for supporting me in the past seven days of this journey. This was a challenge, basically just because I wanted to challenge myself just because I had seen people do this and I just wanna see how the challenge would go. Like I said, I wanna challenge you guys to this challenge, whether that be on your phone or professional camera. But thank you guys so much for all the support. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn your bell notifications on so you guys don't miss content on the daily. You guys can follow me on my social medias right here. So I first off want to talk about all the video content. This was typically what I wanted to do was vlog my daily life. But I soon realized after my first or second video that maybe I shouldn't just do my life. I should kind of have a little bit of a storyline to it, maybe something cool, something of an entertainment factor. And I slowly started realizing this as I was editing and I had so much footage and I was stressing myself that I needed to actually like record everything throughout the day. But I realized that some of that footage I can actually reuse and recycle. And so that's exactly what I did with our second vlog, which was shaving my dad's head, which is actually... Uh, something that happened before I even started daily vlogging and I kind of just used it because it was somewhat of a storyline to the whole quarantine kind of isolation aspect and it got a lot of views. It got 166 views as of right now and then that was followed up by talking about my why my Instagram account was suspended which was actually really cool. You guys um, didn't actually know why and I still don't know why um, it happened as I showed you guys what I had made which was super weird but you guys killed it I also share with you guys a couple of ideas that I kind of came up on the spot which was doing an epic throw trick shot over the house touring Spokane um, a cooking show with Rachel Ray as well as doing a fitness indoor zoom fitness thing which i actually have in the works so i'm going to be getting that out very very soon but stay tuned to the end of the video because i'm going to be announcing what days i'm going to be uploading from now on so once the weekend kind of hit i realized that i can actually kind of do stuff because i didn't have much homework to do every single day so that's what i did with the going into the river this was kind of an impulse kind of video because I didn't really know how to do this, but I knew how to kind of shoot it, doing the GoPro, doing the whole ripstick thing, doing everything that was kind of like what I wanted to do. I had a basic plan. And so when you guys are daily vlogging, try and come up with things that you know. And I knew that area pretty well. I knew what shots I could kind of get. And as I started editing videos, I realized that I can actually kind of manipulate a story because I knew exactly what I need to get. I knew every single segment and I knew what I needed to do from A to B and that's exactly what I did. However, not every shot came up perfect, but surely it did justice. On top of these, I was also live streaming at night, so that took a big chunk of my time because I was editing videos super late at night and then having to maybe upload them in the morning as soon as I woke up, but I did it. I did it, and I'm still proud that I got through it. One of the struggles was time, um, doing homework as well as 
doing a vlog, editing a vlog. Typically around 10 p.m. I would start editing a video, hopefully getting done by midnight, maybe one at the latest, getting to bed probably by two, waking up at 9.30 for class, and then uploading the video while I'm in class because I'm on the computer. So I really realized that maybe I shouldn't do super long vlogs. I know a lot of people um, in YouTube will always tell you to do longer vlogs um, so your watch time's up for your fans that you, you know, obviously have. But I slowly realized that maybe I shouldn't do exactly that for everything. Some of my first vlogs were 10 to 11, maybe 14 minutes. Then I slowly bumped them down by half going to six because I wanted it to just be the story. I didn't want it to be a whole drawn out thing. But I had this crazy idea of kind of doing that when I'm doing challenge videos with friends, kind of like, okay, so we have a challenge video. Today I'm gonna to be recording it. Then we're gonna go hop over there and we're gonna actually do it. And then that's gonna be the rest of the video. That's kind of where I have my idea. I don't know if that's gonna work, but I'm optimistic that it will and it kind of has a little spin on the whole vlog challenge, vlog reaction, vlog most satirical. Videos that you guys normally see on this channel such as the most satirical, all the music that I post, um, other stuff like storytelling, those videos will probably be just that. They might be in the style of a vlog, especially the storytelling, but maybe not the other two. But I'm definitely going to be coming out with more content just like that very, very soon. So just make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss it, as well as turn your bell notifications for those videos. So one of the reasons why I really wanted to go with more of a storytelling, kind of like an appeal to the tags. When you have tags that are basically generic like vlog, daily vlog, vlogs, the real Jeru, vlogger, vlogging, daily vlog, daily vlogs, stuff like that, they're very broad. There's no narrow search to it. Mind you that not a lot of people are searching for this content, but what I've been trying to do is kind of plant seeds everywhere on YouTube, kind of like in the most satirical or with vlogs like Shaving the Head or like even Crushing Watermelon, especially with cities. So that's kind of where I came up with the idea of the downtown tour with Spokane because I wanted it to kind of be something that when people look up Spokane or Spokane Valley or downtown Spokane or things like that, that's a video that's going to pop up. Not only have I gotten better at Photoshop and actually thumbnails as a whole, as well as promotional stuff, as you guys might see on my TikTok. If you guys are following me on there, at the real Jared 16 you guys can check me out on there. As well as stuff as just an editing, I kind of realized that, you know, as I get better in things, I can kind of, you know, plant. And I can kind of just narrow and hammer down like a, a you know, a footstone into that area, especially downtown Spokane, as well as like, like I said, the shaving and crushing watermelon. So most of this was probably really much of an experiment for me, trying to actually come up with ideas that will actually reach an audience. My audience is uh, primarily male. We're 90 to 10%. You know, things that, you know, I like as well as track, Something like a staple is my hat and a ripstick. I kind of wanted to, you know, punch these staples into my vlogs. So you guys know when you guys see a vlog, you might might as well see a ripstick or me wearing a hat all the time because that's just me. That's kind of the staple that I wanted to kind of, you know, punch into the vlogs. And so this was very much of an experiment for me because I didn't know how well, you know, things would go or you know, how well a vlog would do. No matter how much time I put into it, I don't know how many people are gonna watch it. You know, the people as my fans or people that I see on social media, they might watch it, they might be intrigued, as well as, you know, they might just think it's really cool. But I've slowly realized that maybe I need to kind of focus on my growth right now and maybe do stuff outside of my audience and stuff outside of my uh, normal thing, but have my own spin on it. Let's say I take a try not to laugh challenge. Um, I make it into a vlog, I'm watching something, or even I'm doing it into a vlog and then I'm kind of like coming into the challenge. But like I said, all this is very experimental. I'm hoping that growth comes, but not only is it my part to actually tag my videos right, have the right title, as well as make the best content, the best video that I can, it's also on you guys to support this channel when a video goes live, to have that view velocity go skyrocket right as it comes out, show YouTube that this video is something worth watching and it should be recommended to more people. It's on both of us and that's basically what I'm saying. Not only is it on me to do my part, of course, do your part as well for the nation, for this channel. 
So I wrote down a couple of questions maybe that you guys are thinking about, and one of them was, what was the funnest vlog to make? The funnest vlog to make was honestly the downtown tour one, just rip sticking around, seeing the town of Spokane, and just all the people down there. And not only that, I gained a lot of confidence from that, because it showed people that like this is a thing, as well as myself. I just gained confidence in myself. I have a little bit more confidence in myself as a person, but now that I have kind of a little bit of backing in the numbers, the subscribers and the view count to kind of back it up, that kind of helped me reassure that, you know, this I'm doing this for something. I'm not doing this just for 200 people. I'm doing this as a part of me actually doing this for my channel. And so not only was my confidence really high during that vlog, it was just the funnest vlog to make because I honestly got a ripstick around the entire downtown of Spokane. It was just so much fun. It was just a lot of fun. Next question, was it hard to do this challenge? Yes and no. At first, I found it really hard because I didn't know what I was gonna do for ideas and I knew that I needed to tag these videos right, like I said before, I need to do my part, but I don't know how you guys would re re respond to a certain vlog, as well as kind of like, do you like this part? Do you not? Um, I've seen a couple videos where, let's say we have a bar, and this is zero, and this is 15 minutes, the view count's gonna drop dramatically, then it's gonna peak like halfway through at a part that like has the thumbnail in it, and I've noticed that a lot, but, it doesn't discourage me, it just shows me what I need to actually put into these vlogs. Next question, how long did it take you to edit your videos? Um, so like I said, 10 was typically when I started, unless I was live streaming, it was typically at like 12.30 after I kind of unwound for a little bit, but it took me about two to three hours to edit most of them. Um, I had a couple problems with the editing software, but I slowly figured that out. But for the most part, it did take me around two hours on an average. My last vlog, wearing the hats, took me about like 30 minutes. That was pretty easy to do because I knew exactly what I needed to do. I knew exactly where all the all the markers were. And I only had three snippets of recording to actually look from, so that made it super easy. I will say, if you're making a vlog and having, you know, like 20 different things, it does get really hard. That was with the downtown Spokane one. I didn't know how I was going to do that one. I probably spent around four hours editing that video, but it seemed to do really good. And like I said, it's punching that nail into the, into the wall, that footstone into Spokane. So when people look it up, they find that video. This one was big. Uh, how did you generate ideas? So when I first kind of was struggling um it, it's similar to you know that term writer's block you kind of have idea block you don't really know what to do but then i realized that maybe i should just film my life and whatever happens happens but i know that probably won't gain as much traction because i haven't really built like kind of a foundation onto my name yet but i've slowly realized that when i'm generating ideas any idea is a good idea and I write it down immediately. I, I'll take a recording on my on Snapchat, save it into my memories, and caption it, video idea, so I can go back to it. Or I'll just write it down immediately in, into my notes. But for the most part, generating ideas is kind of like thinking, what would be the most entertaining thing to do that day? What is entertaining? What might people like? What might people not like? Um, you got to think of it both ends because if you're thinking of everything that people are going to like this, they might not. You also have to think about is not something that you should do because it really helps you kind of focus and hone in what you need to do. I'm not going to lie. I've used as much resources as, I've, as I have. I've used YouTube. I use Google search. I've looked at video ideas. People have been saying like do like a travel vlog or like a tour vlog. So that's where the downtown Spokane one came uh, about um, as well as just doing like challenges or doing like a trick shot video. So those kind of those ideas kind of came in. Um, but I have a couple of ideas of where to go from here, especially after this challenge that I did, my seven day challenge. And so I've, I've learned kind of how to, you know, generate video ideas more and more. So this next question, how long did it take you to record a vlog? So the first couple, I think the two, two, first two vlogs took me about like all day because I was just filming my day and kind of going back and I was just filming everything I could, especially like training with Ryan or just like when my parents got home or even cooking dinner, or eating dinner. But I slowly recycled through some of that and realized that maybe that's not the 
the whole point that I want to make. But I would typically, um, when I had the idea, like the downtown one took like an hour and a half, maybe um, two hours from driving. But the whole, I think the ice one, I, swimming in ice water, the 30 degree water was probably, that took me about like an hour, hour and a half. But I knew what I needed to record and I knew that I could get the shots and I wanted to wait, but I knew I couldn't. So I had to kind of just improvise a little bit as well as I think the hot one took me like 30 minutes. I literally ripstick to the school vlogging and came back. That was pretty easy. Honestly, Nationers, I hope to keep making videos like this all the time. Another question that you guys have um, is, do you leave parts of your vlogs out? This is something that I've said uh, in this video before, the behind the scenes. Um, I don't put everything into the vlogs. I do try and vlog every single aspect of it because you never know when you might need it and you'd rather have it if something goes bad or you might just have it just because it's better to have it than not have it. You need to at least have something to put out there. Imagine my trick shot video. I forgot to hit record. At least I have like that clip of me like recording something up on the top of my roof for it and actually putting that into the vlog and realize like, oh, I'm super dumb. I didn't actually have the trick shot, but here's how it went. And so that's kind of like, you. it's better to have it than not have it. But my main goal is to actually put the most entertaining parts into this vlog. I know a lot of people like Emma Chamberlain, who is very quirky, has kind of those snippets like, oh crap, like I shouldn't have done that. What is that? Why is there a bug? Oh crap, like stuff like that. My vlogs have been like that. I've noticed that maybe that's not the way to go. Doesn't mean it's not gonna stop. I'm definitely gonna have like my like, oh, ah, ooh. As well as like the downtown vlog one where I was like bumble, jumble, humble, humble, bumble, jungle? Like that part. I could have totally edited that out, but I kept it in because I kind of thought it would be, you know, a part of like the process. You guys realize that I am a human and I am real and I don't actually say words that make any sense sometimes. As you guys know, if you're a fan of mine, you guys know that I don't absolutely know how to say squat, but it is what it is. And you learn from it and you learn to embrace it because we're all human. We make mistakes and we just live life, live life to the fullest. Living the life that we love and loving the life that we live. That's exactly what I teach you guys and hope that you guys pick up every single day and I hope that you guys practice every single day. That is it for all the questions. I just want to thank you guys again so much for all your support, all the comments on the videos, all the likes, all the views, all the new Nationers. Thank you guys so much for hitting that subscribe button and joining the nation today, the realest community on the internet. I love you guys, but we're going to go over to downstairs to actually go watch some behind the scenes.